Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. We're doing a paid review for David. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. We're doing a paid review. Now this guy here, David, uh, he asked me to do some reviews for him a number of years ago. Uh, you reviewed my collection nine years ago. My God. <coughs> uh, in an earlier paid review, you advised myself in, in, in my career as an IT director, and I even had him on my fridge with his fish he had caught. Um, okay, so anyhow, with this particular gentleman here, he has he had a bit of a he had a bit of a bit of unfortunate situation. He 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 was uh, laid off from his IT job due to industry changes, and then he had a bit of a health problem. But I don't want to concentrate on the negativity or his personal situation. Uh, per your last review, I have kept the Amigas. The Amiga Speedmaster plastic manual wide, not the Sapphire Sandwich. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, the man on the Viking moon and an Amiga Seamaster 300, 2531.80, recently serviced and polished. I'm hoping to build a proper full meal deal combo, chronograph, dive watch, and, cr and GMT. Due to my Possibly limited funds going forward. A Rolex GMT or similar is out. Pontiff, would the new release of the Seiko SSK001 GMT be a acceptable watch in my situation? I ask this for a few reasons. Why, while Seiko may be affordable, this is a new in-house GMT movement by a major manufacturer, Seiko. This has a major effect on the whole industry with the NH34 movement. I would love to look and be able to live without sapphire and the friction of a bezel. The non-screw down crown. This would be a worthy addition to the would it be a worthy addition to the to make three steel stunners? The Omega uh, the man on the Viking moon would be my dress and chronograph, the Seamaster, my dive, and the Seiko, the GMT. I would select the JDM, Japanese Domestic Market, J edition, as I believe the with Seiko moving up market and most future mid-range Seikos not made in Japan, this would be an acceptable choice. Plus, with this being the first real affordable GMT on the market, it may give some value in the future, like the discontinued SKX. I would also add a Japanese it would also add a Japanese component to the collection. Anyway, I've kicked you 25 bucks. Um, but do continue to support you on channel. I've done some work on the photos to make it easier because of uh, to compensate for the cheap review. No problems. Um, so he goes on to say, okay, so so what do I think there? Uh, he also says, you're right, IT is a young man's game. If you're ever in Vancouver, I'll buy you a beer. Seriously, figuratively for me, something, the story goes both ways. Sometimes the story goes both ways on YouTube. Take care, Mr. Pluto. Oh, and nice one, Arch. Regards, David. So this is the fish guy, the IT guy, the Omega guy. So what do I think? What do I think? Um, what do I think? I think it's pretty damn good. I think it's pretty damn good. Three piece stunner, three pieces, five pieces, three pieces, two pieces. Hey, you know what? Doesn't matter. Three piece stunner here. And I've got to tell you, in all honesty, this isn't a terrible way to go. You've got two heavy-hitting Omegas. The Speedmaster, very iconic. 
You've got a Seamaster and throw in the Seiko. Why not? Why not? Why not? Your collection isn't about how much money you spend. It's about the usability and the fun that you have. Personally, 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 I think it's a, it's a great, you've got to, look, you can't buy things that, that really bankrupt you. I know so many people buy shit. They don't even really, you know, they don't love. And then it's, it, it's, it's just become sort of a, a millstone around their neck. So, so my advice to you, go for it. Go for it. If this collection here can make you happy and smile, and um, that's all that matters. Nothing else really matters here. It's your collection. It's what cheers you up. And uh, why not? Why not indeed? Just be happy with it. You've got two good pieces. You have a discount. You have a Seiko. So what? Who cares? Who cares? And I I particularly do think I would get the Japanese version of it. So if the quality of the non-Japanese, um, I think they make them in Malaysia or China. Well, no, I think they're Malaysia, I think. Then quality doesn't seem to be on par. But you know what? This collection really works. And if you, forever you did manage to get a bit of a financial windfall, I'd add an Explorer 2 into the collection. You don't have to have Rolexes ear to ear. You know, you just got to have a collection that means something to you. To be completely frank with you, Having just the Speedmaster is a huge achievement. It's a fantastic watch. You've got a Seamaster. Those two really cover most bases. So I wouldn't be hard on yourself. I wouldn't be, um, you know, I wouldn't be saying, oh, it's lesser. You know what? Go with what works for you. If that works for you, go for it. That's what I would do. Um, that's that's the best best way, and um, I I think it's that's really going to be the ones that give you the happiness. It's wearing the watches. It's not fucking hoarding them and possessing them. It's wearing them and enjoying them. And you've got two beautiful Amigas. Hold your head up proud. Enjoy them. The Seiko, I think, would be an amazing piece to add. Go for it. And look at the, the three different bracelets there. It looks absolutely stunning. Go for it. You've got the Pontiff's endorsement. Go for it. Get the Seiko. And I will see you in the next one. Remember, guys, if you haven't done a paid review, it makes it hard for me to survive. It's getting tougher. Paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. And I'd like to run an ad for my sponsor, David SW. He is the dealer I recommend in America. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, 